one Chicago doctor's efforts to combat crime and disparities in access to health care, partnering in an innovative program to teach students life-saving skills and inspiring many to a career in medicine. As an emergency medicine physician, probably one of the biggest influences on my career was what I saw growing up on Chicago's South and East Sides. Witnessing violence, witnessing health inequities, witnessing friends who suffered and died early of asthma and sickle cell. I didn't know that was a health disparity, but I knew something was wrong and off about it. And that led me to wanting a career changing it. When I was an early first year resident at the University of Chicago studying emergency medicine, I began to understand there was a specific type of health literacy and curriculum the community demanded. And so once I started teaching those skills of how to recognize a stroke, how to recognize heart attacks and do CPR and use an AED, and how to deal with gunshot wounds, I also began to learn that this was a motivational factor for youth. So when we teach them, they say, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a nurse. I'm thinking about being a paramedic now. Growing up in Chicago, it was tough. I grew up like around drugs, survivor mode environment. Environment. Knowing how emergencies occur and the solutions to them really helped introduce me to the aspect of being an emergency physician. I talk to children, I tell them my experience. I also help Dr. Pratt with his Stop the Bleed initiative, his emergency preparedness initiative. We created a program called Trap Violence within our program. And Trap Violence stands for Trauma Recovery and Prevention of Violence. And that was created because the youth wanted to talk about their father that was killed or their brother that suffered a bad car accident and, and lost a lot of blood or an aunt who had a bad stroke and what they should have done. Did they do the right thing and how did they cope? It gives children who grew up in communities like myself or grew up in situations like I did, it gives them an opportunity to fight healthcare disparities and be the impact on their community. I was drawn to the program because it not only offered a course in emergency preparedness, but it also showed you the social impacts that drive emergencies in the Chicago community. Those of us who work with the MedKeep initiative are literally creating the programs to show value, that we value these lives because they're our little brothers, they're us. Almost oh, certainly life-saving skills there that we can all benefit from knowing how, you know, like to do CPR and use it in AED. But of course, a medical official say always call 911 first and get professional help right away. But such a good program mm -hmm. here. We always talk about health care disparities mm -hmm. on the show, and I think it's great that they are empowering these students. Almost certainly. Yeah, very cool. What do you always tell me? What do I always tell you? Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop I do worrying. think of that all the time. All I do. Time. I was like, what do I always tell you? I tell you not to bring me a bag <laughs> of chips, so things. stop worrying. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.